Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on the video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and this is something that I just happened to come across. It showed up on my YouTube feed, and I was so excited when I saw it because I've literally been singing this song for like the last two, three weeks, which is probably why it popped up on my news feed, because YouTube's like, okay, well, you've been singing this karaoke track so much lately, we're going to show you someone else. Um, and it is Sam Mangubat um, covering Faith Hill's There You'll Be, and I just adore the song. I adore Sam's voice. I've only reacted to him a couple times on the channel, so I'm trying to incorporate it more and more. So when I saw this pop up, I'm like, you know what? Yes, I got to do it, especially since it's a recent performance. Like, it was just a couple weeks ago. So yes, 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 all things yes. Um, one thing I love about watching people who can really sing, sang songs that, like, I'm singing or I'm working on, like, it just gives me ideas of places the song can go that I never didn't really think about and potential things that I can switch up and whatnot. So I'm, I'm just, I'm super excited to see what Sam does with the song. So we're just gonna dive on in. When I think back on these times And the dreams we left behind I'll be glad cause I was blessed again to have you in my life When I look back on these days, I look and see your face You were right there for me In my dreams I'll always see you soar above the sky the cry in his voice on that I'll keep I love the sound of his voice. I love the tone of his voice. It's so beautiful. Um, 
yeah, a fantastic rendition. The only thing that I would not really change, but I guess kind of sort of quasi-change, um, the, there was something about the instrumentation of it that, I don't know, just didn't sit a hundred percent with me. And I don't really, I don't know how to explain it. Um, I almost think um, with his voice, I would have preferred it with like an acoustic guitar versus an acoustic piano, but like there's nothing wrong with it being on the piano. I think I think what it is is like there's there's times when like people will cover a song and you can tell that whatever music they're singing to either they're playing at the moment or it was created for them, created for them and their cover. And then there's other times where it sounds like just a track that we got from somewhere. And like, there's something about this piano that it just sounds like it was a piano, like I went onto YouTube and typed, there you'll be piano track and pulled a piano track and I'm just singing to the piano track, which there's nothing wrong with that, but it didn't sound as like, I don't know, it didn't sound as organic as some of the other covers that I've seen him do or some of the other things that I've seen him do. It just felt kind of like, yep, here's a standard whatever piano track that I pulled off the internet and I'm just going to sync to this um, versus it being like, okay, someone played this piano for him or he's playing this piano for himself. And that may not be the case. He may have played this or someone else may have made the track for him. It just sounded very like a, a canned piano karaoke track of this versus like something that was made specifically for the performance. Um, but outside of that, like his vocals on it are fantastic. I'm, this is just me being picky, 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 picky. Um, but yeah, vocals were fantastic on it. Um, he, he didn't change it up too, too much uh, until we got towards like the bridge and the last chorus, and then he really started to throw a little bit more of himself in there. There were little couple runs that he did, a little couple vocal inflections. Like I mentioned, I think, going into the first chorus or something, there was like a certain cry in his voice that he did in, um, I don't remember the exact name. Was it, in my dreams I'll always see you so up in the sky? And I don't remember exactly what it was, but I, I pointed it out when he was when he sang it. But yeah, there were little subtle little things that he did throughout the performance that, you know, it was a very respectful cover, but there were still some elements of him. And it sat it, it sat in a good place for him vocally. And I don't know if it's the I don't think it was the original Faith Hill key. Um, because I can when he was singing along, I could sing along with him, and I can't sing the original Faith Hill key, so I feel like this was probably transposed a step or two down. Um, but, like I said, he sounded beautiful. Um, his voice is always going to sound beautiful because he's got a beautiful voice. Um, he looks delicious because he, he's a delicious looking man. Um, and yeah, it was it was it was a nice cover. I. I would be curious to hear him sing it over like an acoustic guitar or something. I feel like. I don't know, I feel like an acoustic guitar on this song with his voice would do amazing things. I think that would sound amazing. But the piano didn't sound bad, it just didn't sound custom or it didn't sound like it was made for him. It just sounded like I'm gonna, like me going to a gig or something, and I'm just gonna pull a track off YouTube and sing to the track. That's kind of how it felt. And the other thing that I kind of wanted a little bit more from from him was there there wasn't any eye contact like he kept looking off side of the camera which i there could have been lyrics or something that he was looking at or you know although he seemed to know the song so i don't think he was looking at lyrics i don't know what he was looking at but like the whole time he he didn't look at the camera until the very end after he was done singing and you know i i get it it's not always easy to look into a camera or perform to a camera hell half the time i'm doing my reactions i'm looking here, there, and everywhere, and I'll glance at the camera to make sure that I'm actually still recording or something like that. But, so, like, I get it, I get it, but for the sake of something that's, like, so intimate and we're just recording this cover and whatnot, a little, that connection would have been uh, nice to have there, but vocally, beautiful, beautiful job. So, yeah, 
hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I enjoyed his rendition. I hope you guys did too. If you enjoyed this reaction, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications so you'll be notified when all my shenanigans get posted. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments and I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. Um, if you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya. Mwah. And before you guys go, a shout out to my amazing patrons. I can't begin to express how thankful I am for your support. And if you guys would like to join us over on Patreon, the link is down in the description. I love you guys.